What's going on, you guys? My name is Cole, and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. So today, for you guys, I have an intense and insane video that I've been thinking and wanting to do for a long time, and we're finally doing it. This has been a majorly requested video, uh, and we are finally getting around to filming it. So here is what is going to happen today. As you can tell, we have the Warden right here, we have the Barbarian King, and we have the Archer Queen. Now, these are all three of the heroes in Clash of Clans. So what is going to happen is we're going to put them all head-to-head -head in a raiding battle to see which one is the ultimate hero, which one is the best hero, and which one shall be the victor of our competition. So before we get into that, I just want to go let you guys know that I will be streaming on Camcord every Tuesday and every Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys are at all interested in that, I will throw a download link for Camcord in the description, or I will also put it on the screen right now. Uh, but let's not go ahead and waste any time and get right into today's video. So right now, the army that we are going to be challenging with is this one in our army camps. We have 240 out of 240. We have eight witches, two golems, 17 wizards, seven wall breakers, and two archers. Now, these are all max level troops, so this is definitely a fucking maxed out level raid, and I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, now, also, the rules for the competition is we have to attack a talent 10. These talent 10s have to have multi-target infernos, and all the heroes in their bases have to be asleep, so that means no heroes when we attack. We have already done the warden's challenge, and we've also done the kinks, and then we're gonna end off the episode with a live attack for the queen's attempt uh, to end things off there, but let me go and check out these replays, see how we did, and let's get right into it. Alright, you guys, so here is raid number one. As you can see, going up against the Town of Ten, I got all of his heroes asleep. Uh, multi target Inferno right there, and a multi target Inferno over there. So now we're gonna go and begin our attack, dropping down two golems as well as some wall breakers. We're gonna get through these walls. Yes, they made it into the center compartment. Alright, here we go. Drop down a bunch of wizards and all of our witches, and then we're gonna go and drop down the warden after all of our troops have been deployed. Alright, he's in. Now let's go and do this, you guys. 9% are ready. It is looking good. Uh, the golems are mobbing through the space, protecting our troops pretty well. Uh, the only other problem here is the multi target Inferno, but we're gonna go and freeze that shit. Get frozen, motherfucker. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You think you can take out my troops in front of the tower? Suck my dick, bitch. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We froze them again. We're going to drop down our final race right there, and they should be able to take out the Inferno Tower before it unfreezes. Come on. Yes, they got it. All right, now they're moving on to the town hall. This raid is going so clutch so far. Like, literally, they already got the town hall, 41%, uh, and everything is working out just fine. We got the ward over here. He's just chilling out with our troops, doing his thing. We still have his eternal tell ability. Haven't activated that yet. We're going to go and activate it right there because the multi-target Inferno is getting in range of a bunch of our wizards uh, as well as our witches. So they went and took it out, and honestly, that eternal tilt was so freaking MLG clutch, you guys. Because of his ability, we were able to save all these troops on the outside from that Inferno Tower, and now we are just gonna crush through this space. 61% already. Holy crap, we are just destroying this guy's life. Like, what is this guy's name? Aquila? Aquila! I'm so sorry, baby, but we just had to fuck your shit up, bro! Alright, they took out the Wizard Tower. Now they are moving on to the outside of the base. 66%. Oh my god, could they go for 69? Is it possible? Is it popsicle? Because if it is, then it's possible. Oh, shit. Shit. They got to 17. Well, oh well. We'll just go and keep on going on. See how much more they can pick up. So at this point in the raid, uh, let's see what do we have left. We have one, two wizards right there, uh, two witches, and the warden as well. Now the warden is going to take a lot of damage from the cells, which is actually kind of good uh, because he's distracting a lot of the damage away from our wizards as well as our witches. Come on, warden, stay alive a little bit longer, just a little bit more. Take on the expo. Oh my God, come on. Can we get the gold, please? I need that gold. Like I'm so low on gold right now. It would really help me out if you guys could get that. Come on, witches, you can do it. Ah! Oh, God damn it. All right. Well, I think at this point in the raid, what do we have left? Uh, that is pretty much all of our troops. Wait, what am I hearing? Oh, my God. Larry. Larry. Come on, bro. You can get one more percentage. All right. So we're going to go put this on four times speed. See if he has the power to break through this wall. Damn, he is hitting that shit so fucking fast. Like, he's like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on, Larry. Come on. You're going to do it. 30 seconds left. Oh, you're getting so close. You got this. Hit a harder. Hit a harder. Hit it with a baseball bat. Oh, peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. And three, two, one. And Larry is going to disappear into nothing. So we're going to pull away with that raid. 78%. Now, that was actually a pretty legit raid. Let's be real, you guys. 11 trophies. And we actually got a ton of loot. Like, holy crap. 280,000 gold and 325,000 elixir. I will definitely take that. Uh, let's not forget that we got 100% of our loot bonus because we did attack over 75%. So great job, Warden. Your attack was definitely one of the best ones I've seen. So far. So let's go and jump into the King's replay and see if he did any better. Alright, base number two, and we're attacking number three. So as you guys can tell, we got the title 10, we have both of the multi-target Infernos, and the heroes are both down. So this is a fair attack. Now let's go and move into it. Alright, so we're starting this thing off from the top side, dropping down one, 
two, uno, dos, golems on this red. And where's the king? All right, here he comes, coming in from the top side. Let's go and bot through the space, everybody. So the only thing that sucked is he had a lot of walls, and my wall breakers weren't able to break through the center in time. Uh, and we didn't want to use our jump spell because I did need that to get into the title compartment. Uh, but the king should be able to break through. And the only thing that sucks is a lot of my troops went to the outside. Like, why? Why don't you go that way? You guys need to go to the center, you assholes. Ah, oh, all right. We well, you know what? Activating the king's ability right there, raging through this gold source. Now he's on to the elixir. Oh wait, what is he doing? He was like looking to the right. He's like, hey. Out. Watch me beat the shit out of your elixir, fam. Ha, 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 ha. So we're going to give a freeze that. Keep the king alive a little bit longer. Uh, we still do have one more freeze spell, so we're going to go and drop that right about there, I believe. Okay, so we froze that. Double freeze state. The king is down. Uh, we're at 42%, and we have a lot of our troops in the center compartment. Now, this kind of sucks, though, because he has one Inferno Tower over there. Uh, he also does have a bunch of Tesla penises just popping up like bang, 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 bang. And they're going to go and get wrecked right in the face. Uh, we're at 49%, so it looks like we're going to be able to pick up the one star great work everybody uh but i'm not sure if he's going to be able to surpass the warden's eternal record uh which he did on the last base so we're gonna drop that hair right there he's gonna get ball sack slapped by all that shit come on guys all you need to get is like i don't know 20 more percent or something like 78 so it's it's, it's possible you guys could possibly do it oh no you son of a bitch you took out my witch i hate you so much more i hate you ah and uh, let's see, what do we have? All right, so we got one archer right there. Uh, we also do have another archer right there. They're going to pick up a few more percentages, but I do not think it is going to be enough to overcome the warden. Uh, so let's go and put this on two times speed. Uh, one archer is going to get shit on uh, by the archer tower. And now the last one will get raped in the face uh, by that one as well. So zero seconds left in the raid. Why is it an ending? All right, now it is over. 54% for the barbarian king. That was a good try. Uh, but right now the warden is leading in the rankings. So it is up to the Archer Queen to pull away with the final victory. We shall see if she is powerful enough to do it. And honestly, out of all the heroes, I have to say, the Queen has the biggest chance at beating the Warden. His Eternal Tome is so legit and fucking awesome uh, because it just keeps your troops alive so much longer. Uh, and it's honestly the best ability in the game, in my opinion. Uh, but hers is kind of similar. It like makes her invisible uh, instead of making the troops invisible. But we shall see. So making our way over to the army camps, those are looking full. Let's go and check on our spells really quick. Hit the info. And we got... Got one jump spell, two rage spells, two freeze spells, and one poison spell. So everything is looking in order. Uh, I believe we're going to go and fight our attack, and hopefully the queen can pull off the victory. All right, you guys. So after searching for quite a long time, I finally found a base with no heroes. The multi-target Inferno is title 10. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, the Barbarian King is sleeping over there. So why don't we go ahead and begin our attack? Uh, I'm kind of figuring out where I want to attack from, which will be the best spot to do this. Um... Why don't we just go ahead and attack from the top side and see how it works out. So let's go ahead and drop down uh, one golem right there and another one right there. Let's go and wall break in. All right, make sure they get in there. Come on, wall breakers. Wall break in, you sons of bitches. They wall break into there. Uh, now they're going to go and... Oh, no, they got destroyed by the giant bombs. Go ahead and drop down a few wizards. All right, all right, all right. Uh, and we're going to go drop down the archer queen right there. I uh, got all that shit. Let's get some witches in here. Everybody's going in. And it's just going to be a great time, everybody. So let's go and drop down that poison spell. Take care of the clan. Castle because fuck you, Clay Castle. Gonna go and drop down a jump spell right about there. Uh, and let's go and rage into the center. Alright, we gotta make sure those balloons do not get too far. Uh, otherwise, they will take out my witches and stuff, which will piss me off. Uh, and I don't want that. So let's go and drop down all that shit right there. Uh, we gotta watch out for these freeze spells. So we can freeze that. Okay, looking good, looking good. And let's also go ahead and freeze right there. Uh, let's go and rage into the center. Everyone should be going in. And uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. 30% right now. They're about to take out the town. Alright, they got it. Not sure, Karen. Potter, do it for Hogwarts. Kill Voldemort. And uh, let's see what is going on at this point in the raid. We've got the Archer Queen. She's locking on to an Archer Tower. Archer Battle of the Century. Oh, no. We got to pop her special ability. She just got it out of the way of Larry. Now she's going for the Elixir Storage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Queen is down. No. Oh, shit. It's only 45%. Okay. Let's see. What do we have left in the raid that we can use? Uh, we got one wizard and we got two archers. So is it possible to beat the Warden? Uh, I don't think so. But we're going to try our best. So let's see. I'm going to look around to see. Is there any spot we can actually drop these? Why don't we go drop down uh, an archer right there, uh, an archer right there, 
And uh, where can we put Harry Potter? Harry Potter, where do I want to put you? Um, let's see. Is there any, like, builder slots or anything? No, there's not. Let's go ahead and try putting him right about there. All right. Actually worked out. He's out of range of the cannon. Uh, he can help the archer double team that. So hopefully they can at least get the two star and the 50%. That will put her in front of the king. And Harry Potter is down. No, Harry. Oh, 48%. 49. Are we going to be able to do it? Oh, shit. No. They are not. So the queen comes in last place. What an upset. Holy shit. I was pretty sure she'd at least get second place. But the barbarian. Barry King is going to beat her out by 1%. Holy balls. That was close. That was an intense matchup today, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go and head back to base and crown our victor as the best hero in Clash of Clans. And as you can tell, he is just doing his thing over there. The one, the only, the Grand Warden, you purple-haired motherfucker. Samantha, why don't you go ahead and clap on the Warden, please? I'd really appreciate it uh, because he is the victorious winner of this Clash of Clans base. So let's go ahead and put him on air mode champion we are the champions warden da, da, da. and we will get fighting all right you guys so now that we are back in base we can go ahead and crown the grand warden as the victorious hero and the ultimate hero in clash of clans so overall i have to say i like the warden the best uh, the barbarian king came in second and the archer queen came in a close third to the barbarian king and he's just like you know what queen i still love you because you have big tits but other than that fuck you but anyways let's go and jump right into our comic question of the day and wrap things up and today's comic question of the day comes from abda rawuf and he asks when are you going to upgrade your level one walls well to be honest uh if you guys want me to upgrade my walls beyond level one be sure to like the video so i guess if enough of you guys like the video then i will be upgrading my walls from level one to like level 9. Well, we'll upgrade to level 9 and it'll be great. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this hero battle because it was a lot of fun. Uh, maybe we will do another one in the future. If you guys want that, you know, to show some support do the like button and I will promise I will bring you a hero battle round 2 uh, and it'll be freaking crazy. So, thanks for watching guys and peace out, bros.